Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Tonight, we're going to talk about the new shipping containers that are part of the Platinum Expansion slash Edition in Farming Simulator. Now, I said to myself when I saw these, people don't put logs in these. That's crazy talk. But the truth of the matter is, uh, after doing some research, actually, a lot of sawmills slash... Not sawmills necessarily, but but logging institutions, <laughs> logging companies, do put nice straight pieces of wood into shipping containers. So this is a thing. And then they put them on a train somewhere, and the train goes to a ship, and it goes onto a ship somewhere, and that ship goes all over the world delivering logs to clients around the world. Uh, so that is actually a thing. It is real. And I thought, man, that's crazy, but it really is a thing. So they've given us a couple pieces for this. Um, first of all, uh, they've given us a new Schwartz Mueller trailer. Now this trailer extends. So for those of you that have seen it pop here and there on the videos, this thing can actually expand uh, left to right, get wider for your big vehicles, but it also expands lengthwise. So you can carry all three container sizes on this trailer. Um, now, let's talk a little bit about logging because there's different sizes bring different amounts of money, but different sizes are also easier or harder to work with. So these containers come in three sizes. We have six meter, which is the yellow container. We have nine meter, which is the blue container. And we have the big container, the monster, uh, 12 meter container and they are also shown in feet as 20 30 40 feet so 20 30 and 40 now however i go by meters and the reason why i say to do that is because all of our tree harvesters in the game harvest according to meters so if you're using a six meter crate make sure that you use the six meter setting on the harvester if you're using a nine meter crate, make sure you use the nine meter setting. And if you're using a 20 meter, I'm sorry, 12 meter, make sure you set your, your harvester to cut 12 meter logs. The way that these containers work is that they semi auto load. So while driving next to logs will not load them into the trailer, you have to use some sort of crane grappler or that sort of tool to log them or to load them into the trailer um, once the end of the log passes the doorway the log just snaps into the trailer now there's a couple things to keep in mind logs that are shorter will be deducted from the overall length of the trailer so if i have a seven meter log and i throw it in there i'm actually not going to get a full container which sucks uh, you want the containers to be all the way full to get the maximum amount of money when you sell them. Um, that way you don't have to keep making trips. But you'll if you don't put full-length logs in, let's say I throw a two-meter in there, I'm going to lose space in the container. Um, now, the opposite is true, though, going the other way, which is a nice benefit. If, let's say you have a 10-meter log or a 12 meter log, but you throw it into a nine meter container. That log will actually fill the container up 12 meters worth of wood. It goes by weight too, but it's going to fill up a decent amount of that, that trailers. It's kind of weird how it works. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm in love with the idea, but that's how it works. So throw a 10 meter log in and you're going to get, a, you're going to see represented in here inside the container, a log and a half are going to show up. You're going to see two logs in there instead of one. Uh, and so you can fill it up faster with bigger logs. Um, now, that is a, there's a whole theory behind this. I have a friend that has done the numbers. I'm going to say this to you. If you do the 12-meter logs or the biggest container, you're going to have a lot of short logs left over because most of the trees that are on the map can only make one 12 meter log and the rest of the logs are going to be shorter. Most of the trees are, you're not going to get two meter logs out of most of the trees. Um, so keep that in mind. I think it's best 
to go with either nine meter or six meter. Probably nine meter because it's kind of in the middle. The logs aren't too hard to work with. Um, they are a little bit heavy though to load in, but you can do it. Um, but it seems like nine meter is kind of the nice balancing point. Um, so I would honestly use the nine meter trailer. If you've got to throw longer logs in, no problem, but you're not. Most of these trees on the map will give you at least two, if not three, nine meter logs. Um, and then what you can do is you can have a little dump truck or a tipper sitting around on, on your land and anything that's shorter than nine meters, you can just chuck into the back of that truck and sell it to the sawmill when you're done. So that gives you an idea of how to use these, maybe a, a better idea. Let's go ahead and I'm going to grab the nine meter and we're going to put it to use. Um, I just want to show you some people were saying, oh, that can't lift those. This is designed to lift these containers. This was made to lift containers. And we're going to show you it working with the Schwarzmuller trailer. So we're going to get the 6-1 out of the way. You can see there's no problem at all lifting. Lights on for safety. And we're just going to set this guy over here. For now. Now, you can also load these onto the train. Uh, and then it'll take them to quote-unquote Elm Creek to sell them. One of the things that I've noticed is, you'll notice when I pick this up, it shows that the commodity inside automatically is wood. I don't think that you can use these for other products. Maybe you can, though, I don't, but I don't know for sure, and it seems like they may not sell. You might have to load them and unload them if that's the case. It's starting to rock. Um, but I, I, I'm not positive about that, but it seems like you can't really use these for other commodities. Now... When you are loading this trailer onto your, um, or this uh, container onto your trailer, make sure you put the doors at the back, okay? Only one end of this trailer has doors, and on, in this case, it's to our right. So we're gonna loop around here, and I'm gonna put those doors to the back of our, our truck. And I think we need to extend this bed out a little bit for this to fit, so uh, I'm gonna, move the camera back and we're gonna raise this up oh look at that somehow the color matched who planned that out hmm um <laughs> nah. yeah so this is a little bit long for that trailer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into the semi truck start her up and I'm gonna expand our bed a little bit and maybe a little teeny bit more there we go that'll overdo it I'm going to hop back in here and lift this up a little bit. Better be longer than shorter, right? Now, I'm kind of interested to see why they didn't give us uh, actual container trailers. There are, in the real world, uh, I'm going to get that unstuck. I'm going to redo this. In the real world, there's trailers that take containers that are they're designed to take containers specifically. Um, you can see those holes on the end, those the, the post holes at the top and bottom of the container. That's how they slot into those trailers, but I guess this is a double duty trailer. Europeans like to get lots of things out of one unit. In America, they kind of purpose build, but in Europe, they kind of like make it, hey, this can do this and this and this, which is not a bad thing because it saves, you know, it, it makes the product more flexible for the owner and, and saves a little bit of money. Now, you can see there, it's it kind of joint into place. Um, so these things actually self-seat once you have them on there properly. However, I found that they still slide, and even doing this does not help, but I like to do it anyway because I'm weird. Uh, I like to put the uh, straps on. So now see this? Yeah, see, this doesn't strap. If you put Now, if you load the containers onto other low boys in the game, you can strap them on there. So you don't have to use the Schwarzmuller container uh, or trailer. You can use any of the other low boys in game that will fit these but you have to strap them on they don't auto snap so just be aware of that um in fact let's give you an example because i i want you to see that all right i'd say that's pretty straight probably as straight as it's going to get <laughs> it's a little bit on this side but uh let me just pop you know a strap here and maybe one like right here and maybe one in the middle to keep any shifting from going on there we go actually we'll put one on the other side of the lake there we go that looks that looks nice. Um, 
And so there we have the big one strapped onto. This is the in-game Load King, the big one. Uh, yeah, Load King. This is the long trailer. It's the longest one we have as far as low boys go. That does not stretch. Um, so you can see here with the ugly Volvo and the horrible paint job, this is what it looks like. But you can do it, no problems, and it'll fit on there, and you can move it around, and it does slide a little bit. Once again, it's the physics are, you know. But there you go. It's doable. So there we have a 12-meter container on the back of a truck. And this thing, I think, in easy mode, is probably worth a good $200,000 worth of lumber. So it fits on there, though. So I just wanted to show you that. So let's go ahead and grab our Volvo um, VNX and take this to our logging site that we have just down the road. And we're going to go ahead and load this thing up and then sell it so you guys can see the end results and how much we make. Once again, I'm on play I'm playing on normal. So I'm going to guesstimate that this will be worth probably about 80 or 90,000 bucks somewhere around there when it's totally full. So we'll be right back. I believe yeah, this is the logging site. So we're going to pull up here. Work our way up the big steep hill here. That's the nice thing with the tri-wheeled VNX. It's got a lot of horsepower and a decent amount of grip. And we get up here, no issues. Well, none that I've seen anyway. So I'm going to say, actually, you know, honestly, I want to be headed the other way. Can I get turned around here? Um, yeah, I can. Oh my gosh, my wife, my wife is making... Uh, pork pot roast like in the <laughs> in the uh, slow cooker <laughs> it smells so freaking good like like the smell is just starting to come up the stairs and I'm like Rrr! oh god I'm hungry <laughs> um, so I'm going to angle this as close as I can to the log pile because obviously the less that we have to move the better uh, so we're going to get this right up snugged against the pile here and shut the truck shut the truck off uh, and we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, doors here and open them up. And I'm going to bring the skitter up just to resist as we push the logs onto here. I know this is not necessarily the right way to do this. People yell at me all the time. They're like, yeah, that's not how you do it. That's how I do it. This is how I do it. Um, I forget the trick. Somebody taught me how to do this the other day, and I forget what to do. There's a way to do this without, like, like maybe I think you go in flat and then tilt it as you're closing it. It's a little bit tricky. No, that's too low. And then you tilt, you tilt this, like while I push forward, I tilt. Nope. That was crap. Once again, not very good at this. Ugh. I'm getting it too low. You need it low, but it's like... There we go. Well, it wasn't beautiful, but works... Good enough for government work, as they say. So let's go ahead and load this up. Oh, I lost the freaking log. Dang it. Once I get close to the doorway, I'm just going to push the skitter. And you can see there. Oh, it's loading up. Oh, there was a short one. And it went in there and it warned me. So we've lost a little bit off the top of the capacity of the skitter. Once again, nine meters in length is what we want. It's not like you're really losing money, but you're... You are a little bit because the containers cost money. Once again, oh, and by the way, that's something that we didn't talk about, which we need to talk about now. When you get the containers, um, they give you, uh, you have to buy each container. They run anywhere from $3,800 to $5,500, depending on the size. And um, it doesn't cost anything extra to color them or put logistics on them. But what they do is you have a... Um, 
once you go to sell the logs, the container sells with it. So you don't get to keep the container. So just be aware that when you sell the logs, the containers are going to go away. Uh, and that's just how it works. And it's okay. But you have to remember, so you, the, in the price of what you're making, you're also getting, you're also buying the container and, and losing a bit of money. I think they give you, I think they give you like 2000 back for them or something like that. You get a little bit back, but you don't get the whole amount back. Crap. There we go. And once again, I tend to make a mess as I do this. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the way loaded here. I think it'll it'll be easily loaded with this pile. So let me get this finished. I don't want to make you watch me do the whole thing. I'll be back. All right. So we've got a little problem. I didn't have enough lumber to fill it up all the way. I thought I would, but I would get it. <laughs> uh, anyway, it wasn't enough. There's a little bit of space left, but that's okay. This holds a total of, of 33,000 liters. Um, so we, we're undercut right now. <laughs> get it? Undercut? <laughs> oh, God, I'd kill myself. Uh, all right, but we're going to sell this anyway. The point is not filling it up all the way, but to show you guys how to do this. So um, the next step is pretty simple. On the north whatever corner of the map is the place that buys containers. They call it the container store. It's weird because I don't think you can get containers there, but it's where you sell your containers. So... Today's episode, by the way, is bought to you, brought to you by Volvo. Be sure to try out our new VNL and VNX series trucks. Just kidding. Uh, there's another VNX right there I was using to move the equipment around. Why am I using the VNXs and not the other trucks? Because this is America. We don't use flat-fronted, well, cab-over trucks in America very often. They're pretty rare. You see them once in a while, but they're definitely not Volvos if they are. You might see a Kenworth K1 or E100 or K100 or a, uh, you know, K200. I think the K200 is only in Australia, actually. And then, or maybe an old Peterbilt, but they're, that's pretty rare to see a cab over uh, in the United States anymore. We've gone to long nose, long hood for safety. All right, so here is where the container factory is. It's going to be, well, really, this is the sawmill, one of, one of the many sawmills. This, I think this is the old sawmill. There, there's two at least. This might, this might be a third. Oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> See how easy this is? I really came the wrong way. There's another entrance further up. And back here we have a grove of sequoias. Good luck with those. They're huge. Um, they'll fit in the container, but I don't know if you'll be able to lift, have anything that will lift them aside from a really big front loader. They're heavy. Those trees weigh hundreds of tons. The yarders won't even work with them. There you go. That was $56,000 of wood on normal because it wasn't full all the way. Full is about 75000 So, hey. That's not a bad load, and you saw how quickly I loaded that. It really only took me maybe like five minutes, three mouthfuls with that big front loader to load up. So three, you know, I didn't show you the cutting part. The cutting part with the harvester only took another three or five minutes, though. So about 15 minutes of work brings in $50,000. Not bad. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope sincerely that you enjoyed this video. I definitely had fun sharing with you how to sell the containers. It's super easy. I haven't put one on a train yet. You can do that, and you can send them to Elm Creek, as far as I can tell, at least from the videos that they were showing. But this is way easier. I just sell them here because this is, you know, it's easier. And I don't think the price fluctuates, but I'm not sure. That's a totally other issue. We're not dealing with that in today's tutorial. So have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up, voice help. And we'll see you next time. Bye.